Hey girlfriends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jazz and I'm back with another video for you. Day six of our 12 days of deep conditioners. Now, if you haven't watched yesterday's video or the other four days before that, check those out and then come back to this one. So if you did watch yesterday's video, you did know that one of the questions at the end talked about regular conditioners. It kind of prompted me to move this video up because I did have it later in the week. So I'm going to be talking about two regular conditioners. Now these aren't technical deep conditioners, but a lot of people get these products because they've seen people use them or they've, you know, they follow a certain brand and they're just so into the hype and they want to get the latest conditioner without necessarily reading the instructions on the conditioner. A lot of regular deep conditioners can be made into deep conditioners, especially when you apply heat. So the first conditioner I'm gonna be talking about is by Cream of Nature. It is the coconut milk line. It is the detangling and conditioning conditioner. Now, if you turn this over to the back and read the directions, it says for deeper conditioning, after applying conditioner, proceed with hair steaming or sit under hooded dryer with plastic cap for five to 10 minutes. So this regular conditioner has been turned into a deep conditioner and you're getting all of the good ingredients that you're really getting anyway. Cause a lot of times, a lot of these lines create these great conditioners and shampoos and they don't necessarily make a match for a deep conditioner. So you can turn that regular conditioner into a deep treatment by simply adding heat and leaving it on a little longer. This coconut milk line, I love it. I actually have duped this conditioner as a cleansing conditioner. So if that's something that you do with a lot of your conditioners, this is one that is really good to do that with because it's detangling and conditioning. So a lot of times if I just let my hair go for two weeks or however long, I'm gonna need to detangle and I cannot detangle during shampoo with regular shampoos. And this is just one of my favorite conditioners. So I have used this as a cleansing conditioner as well as a deep conditioner. Not in the same, but you know, I've used them. I use it for a deep conditioner and I've also used it as a cleansing conditioner. So there we go. So this is gonna have coconut oil, obviously hence the name coconut milk. And it also has olive oil in it as well, which is really gonna help you with your scalp help if you have any issues with that. And of course, coconut oil is gonna add luster to your hair, shine, it's gonna improve the overall health of your hair as well. Now the second regular conditioner that I'm gonna be talking about that you can also use as a deep conditioner is by Lotta Body. It is the Restore Me Cream Conditioner. Now I'm just gonna read the back and it says here for deep conditioning, cover hair with a plastic cap and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse thoroughly with cold water to moisturize and repair curls, follow up with. And they also say follow up, they give you <laughs> instructions on what to use after. I love it. So this Lotta Body Milk Honey line is really good. I like this as well. Um, this is a really good uh, conditioner. It has great slip. It's good to help you detangle. Just one of those well-rounded conditioners that I can dupe as a deep conditioner as well. So the name of this conditioner, Restore Me, is obviously going to make you think about proteins, or for me it does. It's going to help you rebuild, restore your hair. So the milk proteins in this is going to help you strengthen your hair, and it's also going to promote new hair growth. This also has honey in it. We did talk about honey in a previous conditioner. It's a great moisture. Moisturizer. It's going to smooth your cuticles, give you that great shine that you're looking for. Now, what would I follow up with the coconut milk? Now, this line, like I said, is bomb. So if I was deep conditioning with this conditioner, I would shampoo with the detangling and conditioning shampoo. And this condition, this shampoo, you can, it's a really good, like detangling, like it says, it really is a good detangling. I'm actually almost out of this and then follow up with the conditioner for the deep treatment. And just to make my wash day really quick, I'm gonna go and follow up with the detangling and conditioning leave-in conditioner. Now this is a water-based, it's a spray. So this is really good for a wash and go if you are looking for a quick wash day. So that would be good for that. Now with the Lotta Body, I would pair this with the Restore Me shampoo. Then I would deep treat with the conditioner and then for styling, I can go in with the Milk Honey Re Refine Me Curl Defining Mousse. So this is really good for actually anything, twist outs, wash and go, braid outs, and you can use it by itself and you're gonna have great results. I, um, I've actually like to use this for flexi rod sets and perm rod sets. So that would be, wouldn't be a quick wash day, but 
it would be a wash day where you really only need one product. So today's questions, I'm going to start with a question from this is Biba from Instagram. Have you tried honey, honey homemade hair products? I really love your take on natural brands. So thank you for sending in a question. I have not actually heard of that brand before. I've never used it. Um, but there's so many brands out there and a lot of brands that I use, I have like always used some from the beginning of time. I think brands that I had never heard of, like Uncle Funky's Daughter, like I went to an event and found out about them and I love them. So I would be interested in actually taking honey homemade hair products. I mean, the name sounds like it would be some good hair products. So I could definitely check that out, but I've never heard of those. So I have not used those. This question is from All Hair... Uh, Harry Miller, I hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for sending in the question. When you're lazy and don't want to wash your hair, do you just leave it or force yourself to? I have had some serious lazy days and I'll go two weeks without washing my hair and it's pretty bad. And then I'll, but I'll regret it when I finally go wash my hair and I'm in the shower detangling forever. It just happens, you know, it's more, it's, it's more than a notion just to, to take care of natural hair and at some point you look in the mirror and you're like okay i've had this puff for two weeks now it's it's it's, it's time so yeah i have my lazy days i don't force myself to do it because i feel like if i force myself to do my hair i'm gonna be upset or if i like really need to wash my hair i'll just throw it in a bun so i'll go from having a puff which is a bun just on top of your head to like a neater version of that if i want to just be lazy and i just feel like Okay, I need to do a deep treatment. So that's why a lot of these products that I do recommend with the deep conditioners are just one styler. So you can have a really quick wash day if you're just trying to get it over with. You know you need to deep treat for like 30 minutes. So let's just... How about we not... There we go. So yeah, if you just want to really get it done... If you know it's been too long, but you still don't really feel like washing your hair, then yeah, I'll just wash my hair and then slick it back into a bun and be done with it. At least I look like a normal person after that. So yes, I definitely have lazy days to answer your question. And once it gets to about two weeks, I will force myself to just go wash my hair. But if it's only been a week and a half or something like that, like I'm hoping this is gonna last me like over a week. And I haven't really fluffed this out at all. That's why I want it to last. So I know everyone loves bigger than life hair, but I like to start my hair off like this and just let it get bigger. So I'm gonna try and keep you guys up with this. Um, well, I'm actually gonna be on here every day, so you'll see how that grows over time. But um, yeah, I'm going to let this get bigger over time so then it'll last me over a week so I don't have to, start, have to wash my hair a week from now. I want it to last until Christmas. So there you go. But yeah, so thank you so much for asking your questions. Um, you can always still send in questions on my Instagram and in the comments. I believe I'm answering the questions in the videos anyway, but I can start pulling some of those questions and adding them to the video so that everyone can get a feel or get an answer to a question that they may not have had to begin with. So we made it through day six. Tomorrow is day seven. So thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching these videos and look forward for this twist out hopefully on Sunday but don't quote me hope I'm hoping for Sunday so until next time bye bye